So we are here learning about concrete poetry. There's a concrete poem behind me, as you see. It's called The Altar. It was found in an essay by Thomas West Gregory, Ekphrastic Poetry to Concrete Poetry. This is Plurality Press, and we are here teaching you about all things intersecting with poetry and image and all things poetry and scholarly research. Our favorite thing is to talk about genre. So what genre of poetry is this? Concrete. It is poetry in the shape of an image. It's not an image itself, but it's poetry in the shape of an image. You wouldn't call this a drawing. It's a concrete poem. It's a poem that has been shaped so that it evokes what it's talking about and the subtext of the meaning. Um, as you can see in the language of it, the altar, a broken altar, Lord, thy servant, tears, made of a heart cemented with tears. Oh, this is part of the thing of reading um, faded out language. A broken altar, Lord, thy servant, rears, made of a heart and cemented with tears. Now I can see it. Okay. And thank you fully. The poem is up behind me. The goal of these kinds of poetry is to make you evoke the image that is talking about. The subject is the altar, right? And so the seriousness of the altar is there. The bottom, even the top frame where it's a little bit overlapping uh, one side over the other, creating a bit of a, what they call a crown of a pillar, um, giving you that sense of seriousness in the image of the altar helps you to read it with the kind of quality that the poet only is intending. What, you, what the poet sees is not what you see, but here you see it, right? What the poet feels is not what you feel, but here you have an opportunity to feel it. Okay, uh, there is a poem called Texture Becomes Text by John Hollander, and it's from Rhyme and Reason, a book that I love. And it talks about what it is in the sense of the image of the U and the R and the E in texture fades away, and all you see is text becomes text. It's a play on, and this is just a bit of inspiration that came to me, it's a play on Art imitating life. So texture, concrete poem, becomes text, as you can see. Try to play around with this. Try to see what comes about. See what shapes you can make. See what images you can conjure up as you're writing a poem. And think to convey what can't be seen into the scene. This is Plurality Press giving you another lesson in poetry. Do it.